Hello everyone. So, uh, welcome to our video channel. <laughs> so, may bago tayong uploaded na video at ang lesson natin na i-discuss sa, uh, sa video na to is about greatest common factor o yung tinatawag natin GCF na mostly nagka, uh, nakakalimutan ng mga sudyanteng uh, kunin or i-identify ang mga GCF ng mga numbers or expressions. Okay? So, kung uh, kung hindi ka marunong gumawa or kumuha mag-solve ng GCF, panoorin mo to. So, wag mo kalimutang i-subscribe ang channel na to. I-like din yung uh, not notification bell, uh, i-click yung notification bell, ayan, so nakakabul tayo, sorry for that, ayun, so, it's been a while na gumawa ng video lesson para sa channel na to, okay, Mel Sensei is coming back, alright, so let's, uh, let's start our discussion, so ano nga ba tong GCF na to? Okay, so what is GCF? So, GCF is greatest common factor of two or more numbers, uh, which is the greatest number among all the common factors of the given numbers. So, sa madaling sabi class, or guys, uh, this is the largest factor that two, or, that two or more numbers have in common. Okay, so... Uh, another tip para mas mapadali natin ma-identify ang GCF is when thinking about finding, uh, we can think backwards. Meaning, ano ba yung backward ng GCF? So, it is FCG. So, yung F stands for find the factors. Uh, C stands for circle common factors. And then G is the group largest factor. So, kung ito ay nahihirapan kang gamitin yung method na to, yung think backward, pwede mong gamitin ito. Ayan. So, pag sinabing GCF, greatest, alam mo na yan, that is largest. C, uh, common, meaning uh, shared or same, similar. Ayan, pagkakaparehas nung given na number or expressions. And then, F is factor. Okay, so meron tayong ipapakita ang mga steps or methods para mas magagamit mo sa pagkuha ng GCF. Okay, I will be presenting the first method. Pwede mo itong gamitin. So, ito yung mga steps ng ating first method. So, meron lamang siyang tatlong steps. So, step number one, find the factors of each number. Step number two, circle the common factors of the numbers. And then, step number three, group or circle the largest factor they have in common. Sa madaling sabi, ito yung kaninang think backwards. F, C, G. So, i-apply natin siya. Mayroon tayong example. So, first example natin, find the GCF of 24 and 36. So, gagamitan natin nung think backward, ay yung backward kanina na GCF, which is FCG. So, if a factor muna natin yung, so, if a factor po natin isa-isa, so, sulat natin si 24 and then 36. Okay, so, factors natin. Ano-ano mga factors ng 24? We have 1, uh, 2, 3, 8, uh, 6 muna. Uh, we also have 4. Sige, sulat natin. Uh, Burahin muna natin. So, 4. Sulat natin 4. Insert natin si 4 para naka-arrange natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, uh, 12, and then 24. So, these are the factors of 24. Tapos, isulat din natin yung factors ng 36. So, meron kang 1, um, 2, what else? Uh, we have also 3, uh, 4, 6, 9, ano pa? Uh, 12, um, what else? Um, 12, 28, uh, 18, 20, 18, and then 36, ayun. 
So, yan po yung factors ng bawat numbers. So, the natin is common. That is C. So, common factors. In circle natin. Uh, highlight natin using yellow. So, ano, ano yung mga common? So, we have one. Ayan. Hindi siya visible. Ulitin na lang natin. Okay. So, I'll be using green na lang. So, we have one. Two. 3, 4, 6, 12, at wala na. So, that is letter C, common factors. And then, the letter G, i-group natin siya and uh, i-encircle natin yung pinaka-greatest. Meaning, yung pinaka-malaki. Ano ba yung pinaka-malaki? So, i-list down natin yung sinulat natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, at 12. So, ano yung greatest sa kanila? That is 12. So, other words, the GCF of 24 and 36 is 12. So, let's write here, the GCF of 24 and 36 is 12. So, that's how to do the backward method. Okay? I hope uh, nasundan nyo yun. Next. Uh, next. Let's have more example para mas makakasunod kayo at makakabisado din siya. So, meron tayong 16 at 20. So, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, uh, ililista natin lahat ng factors. So, factors 16 and 20. So, what are the factors of 16 and 20? So, we have 1. Uh, factors of 16 muna. So, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay? While 20, we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And then, in circle natin yung mga common factors niya. So, ang mga common factors niya, we have 1, 2, 4. No more. And then, let's rewrite here. So, we have 1, 2, at 4. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung I-group natin siya or i-circle natin yung pinakamalaki, malaking factors. At ang pinakamalaking factors among these common factors is 4. So, our GCF uh, of 16 and 20 is 4. Yan. So, I hope nasundan niyo yun. Okay? Ngayon, kung yan ang prefer ninyo, okay lang. Meron din naman tayong pinatawag na uh, second method na ipapakita natin. Okay? Ito yung paggamit ng prime factorization. So, meron tayong dalawang steps. So, step 1, syempre hanapin natin yung prime factorization ng bawat number. At step number 2, find the product of the common uh, prime factors. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Uh, ipapasukan natin dito class yung tinatawag nating um, uh, pwede tayong gumamit ng factor 3 na tinatawag okay? para ma makikita ninyo yung prime factors natin okay? so eto yung ginawa natin kanina uh, same example natin papakita lang natin o gagamitin natin yung second method so let's start first to show the prime factors of 24 so, gagamit tayo ng factor 3 para ipakita natin yung mga prime factors. So, ang factors ng 24 ay, let's say, 12, uh, 2 and 12. Ayan. Si 2 ay isa ng prime factor. So, hindi na natin siya gagalawin. Ngayon, si 12 naman ang kailangan natin ay prime factors. So, ang mga factors ng 12 ay 3, uh, 3 and 4. Ayan. Since 3 is already a prime factor, si 4 naman ang ating gagalawin. So, ano ba yung uh, numbers na pag multiply ang sagot ay 4. So, meron tayong 2 and another is 2. 
So, makikita ninyo uh, ang mga factors, prime factors ng 24. So, sulat natin. Ang mga prime factors ng 24 ay 2, uh, 3, 2, and then 2. So, that is 24. Ngayon, isunod naman natin si 36. Okay, so isunod natin yung 36. So, magdodrawing tayo ng 36. So, nagkaroon lang ako ng type ng technical error. So, 36. Ayan, sulat natin 36. So, ang prime factors niyan ay 6 and then 6. Uh, I mean, ang factors ng 36 ay 6 at 6. Kukunin natin, pa-factor out ulit natin si 6. So, 2 and then 3, and then 2, and then 3. So, ayusin na natin. So, kanina, ang kinuha natin is 24, tama? So, i-rewrite na natin dito. So, ang 24 kanina, kung, mapap kung maaalala ninyo, so, meron kang 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And then, sa 36 naman, Ayan, sa so 36 naman, meron tayong dalawang 2 din at dalawang 3. Ayan. And then, para makuha yung GCF, kukunin natin yung product ng common factors. Okay, product niya. So, ang product, ang mga common factors ay ito, 2, 2, and then 3. So, 2 times 2, Okay, 2 times 2 times 3. Ayan. So, ilan yan? 12. So, ang ating GCF ay 12. So, same lang po yung nakuha natin kanina. Okay, with different methods. Okay, so kung masundan ninyo yung example natin, ayan, nagagalak akong uh, ituro sa inyo. Okay, so I hope po may natutunan kayo sa video, video, video lesson na to. Sorry. Ayan, so don't forget po na mag-subscribe sa ating channel. So see you again sa next lesson po natin. Goodbye everyone!